most significant sports story of the evening was the decision by NBC to cut away from the Sunday Night Football, the Patriots, and the Niners. The right decision. In the first quarter to take Barack Obama's speech to the interfaith ceremony in Newtown, Connecticut. I guess in the pregame show they said they were going to do it. Uh, and then they did it in the first quarter and Obama spoke uh, eloquently and movingly for, I don't know, 15 minutes, something like that. NBC said at this crawl at the beginning, if you want to continue watching the game, you can go to NBC Sports Channel, which most cable systems carry. NBC and, Sports Network and CNBC. Right, and, and, and CNBC. They said it twice. Everybody who's got cable has one of these. Some people don't have cable and were forced to not watch football for 15 minutes. That must have been off. People take to Twitter to express their disappointment uh, with the decision to carry the president and not carry football. I will now read some of those tweets. It'll make you feel really good and proud to be an American. But the good news is, by the way, racism pretty much dead in this country. And forgive the language. In fact, I'm not going to say it. Yeah, you, have should. To read it. you should. Uh, although I'm uh, being a hypocrite on this. <clears throat> Take that N off the TV. We want to watch football. That was tweeted by a North Alabama football player, a Division I football player. Well, shouldn't be on the team anymore. Now he's gone. Yeah, he's Obama, gone. you stupid sand and get off my TV. You're just making families hurt and miss their kids more. And I want to watch football. Because your priorities mean so much. You almost had a nice sentiment. But then you, we all realized that the real reason was that you want to watch football. Really can't even watch Sunday Night Football because our N Prez has to talk, really. That guy, by the way, lifts a lot of weights. Brandon Ortiz? Brandon Ortiz, yeah. I don't want to see some shortened N-word making a speech. I want to watch the 49ers beat the Patriots. What the F is this N doing on my screen? I want football. Wow, they took off Sunday Night Football to watch this. Obama talk about the shooting. I can't even follow the rest of it. Obama can eat shit trying to make a speech during the football game. Unacceptable. You have to be effing, you have to be fucking kidding me on Obama, you stupid, uh, it's football time in America, not time to give a speech, you fuck. God, these <laughs> people are so fucking stupid. Yeah. So stupid. Damn, N-word, take up my football time. This N-word in, uh, interrupted the football game. Fuck you, Obama, and your stupid speech interrupting the NFL. I like that he hashtagged the NFL so the NFL would see it and think, oh, well, we have an angry fan. <laughs> uh, F you, Obama, for broadcasting this shit now. You literally suck balls. No? Figuratively, he sucks balls. <laughs> Obama, get the fuck off the screen while I'm trying to watch the Pats. I don't want to see you. One of these people, uh, I don't know which one it is, one of these people has a picture of a dog uh, in their, uh, what do you call that thing? Avatar. In their avatar. Is, a a dog, is the dog tweeting? Yeah, I don't know, but literally, somebody should call the Humane Society. <laughs> Barack Obama on TV again. Can't, we, can't even watch a football game and get away from B.O. He's on TV every day. He won't talk about Libya. <laughs> I'm sure if he, by the way, had a press conference to talk about Libya, you'd have been delighted. <laughs> uh, anyway, it goes on. And on. And on and, and on. on and on. Um, oh, this was funny. Uh, Obama, why you interrupt Bob's Burgers for this fucking depressing shit? <laughs> Fuck you. So a couple people tweeted because the, the Fox took the feed too, which interrupted their animated series, Bob's Burgers. That surprised me that there was this. The good news is the people at Bob's Burgers are high-fiving themselves because they created this sort of vitriol today. Um, that's, uh, that's Matt Groening, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, no. Is it, I think it's actually Beavis and Butthead. I, don't, I got it. I'm the sure. The creators of Beavis and Butthead. Um, so... Anyway, either, was, either way, it was enormously depressing, as you can imagine, uh, to read that stuff. And again, just to look, there would have been if Bill Clinton or George W. Bush had interrupted a football game for this and Twitter had been what it is now. People would have taken to Twitter to complain because you took their football away by having the president of the United States make a speech after the most sort of significant, hard to call it, the most significant mass shooting in American history because there have been so many. But it's certainly right up there. One of the seminal days of this century. Uh, in the United States of America, and the president spoke at that service. Obviously, every network's going to take it. That's how life is. Uh, there would have been anger expressed toward either Bush or Clinton, but it wouldn't have had the racial component. No, not so, at all. Obviously. I hope a lot of these people remain unemployed for a long time. Well, I mean, I don't want them to remain unemployed. I don't want them to lose their, uh, their family kind of suffer. Do. But I, I mean, I hear what you're saying. What I, what I want them to be is exposed. You know, you they can, are. Yeah, they are. And, uh, 
Yeah, I'm sorry, cutting off the football game so that gun-grabbing N-word can make a political speech? Major effing. I know I was very inconsistent with uh, saying fuck or F, <laughs> so I apologize. <laughs> but I'm effing pissed off at this fucking shit. So anyway, there you go.